Adam, I said cook a rainy day dish, and all you've brought are just a couple of ingredients. Come on, Richie, you want a rainy day recipe? Simple is the best. And this one takes me back to my nonna when I pull a sickie, you know, didn't want to go to school. And I said, nonna, please, I don't want to go to school today. She said, I'll make you a plate of buster, stay with me, no worries. You had to bring nonna into it. That's how you get away with it, don't yeah, you? Of Here course. Okay. San Remo instant spaghetti is the first thing. Straight into the boiling water. Good pinch of salt, Richie. Nice. You like that? I like that. It's got to, it's got to taste like the Mediterranean Sea. That's exactly. what I like to say. Exactly, all right. So don't be scared, okay? Oh. Pasta, all right. In she goes. And you're like me, you don't put any oil in the water, just a little bit of salt or a Never. lot of salt in there and just let it, let it simmer away. Exactly right. Okay. Never yeah. any oil to your pasta water, OK? Otherwise, the sauce won't stick to your pasta. OK. All right. Now, so. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here with my arms folded because yeah, yeah. there's nothing... I'm just going to slide these bowls over, maybe, because there's nothing to but do But what I need you to do is give that with the palm, give it a bit of a squash. Oh, uh, so I get the smell yeah, of that. Nice. Oh, oh there we go. Get in there. Now, you want me to, to chop nah. it at all? No. I love that, love that. This oh, is how she... It was a quick sauce, OK? Tasty sauce. Right. Good amount of olive oil. Okay. So virgin in a case. In, in a case. In with the garlic. Yep. Okay. So that's the old style of doing, where you put the whole clove in there and let it flavour the oil up. Beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. And then you remove it out, and that oh, way nice. you're not having this big chunk of garlic, you know, when you're eating your beautiful spaghetti. Okay. I don't mind a big chunk of garlic. It's great for a peaceful night's sleep, and I just love the flavour of it, especially yeah. when it's in the oil and it actually gets that caramelised sort of flavour to yeah, it. Yeah, I like it, but I like vampires. Are you trying to keep them away from you? Well, I can keep the vampires away with my hand here. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> OK, so just make sure you don't brown it too much. So yep. just watching that happen. Nice. Just a little bit of golden around the edge. Yeah, and... just a touch. Okay. On and off the heat, like so. Yeah. Then... It's flavouring the oil, that's it. Yeah. And we One. save that for later. We can. I've done it. I've done the garlic like that before and then chopped it up and put it over the top of a dish, you know, more Asian style. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, in with the tomatoes. So they're going to splat a little bit. Beautiful San Marzano tomatoes. So these okay. come from Italy, where my family's from in Naples. You watch this, going to splat everywhere. The volcanic soil has this richness to it, and only these tomatoes grow in this certain little pocket of Italy. And you brought these home on the plane with you, tucked <laughs> yeah, on the seat to... next to you with a seatbelt on it? Yeah. Oh, everyone was looking at me. Now, you've just thrown them in whole like that, and you're just oh. using the back of the spoon to crush them up. Exactly right. Okay, so, beautiful. and what will happen is the sauce will reduce down a bit, so I'll take a ladle of my pasta water, just to help thin it out yeah, and keep okay. the cooking process happening, get the and, right consistency. And get the flavour of the pasta into the sauce. Is that how you do it? Oh, I like it. There we go. Now you've got garlic there. on your hand. You see no. that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Now I've got some basil here. Do you want me to pick this basil? Yeah, for that'd you? be great. But okay. please don't chop it. Just pick it. Yep. Okay. No need to use the knife for this recipe, and especially with soft herbs, basil in particular. We'll just tear it into the sauce after, so it stays nice and fresh, and it doesn't bruise it and come all dark. And then we add the pasta in, and the ricotta to finish. Sounds delicious. Adam, that sauce looks delicious. It does, doesn't it? Now, I need you to tear the basil into there. Yep. And then you put the hot pasta on top of the Straight basil just to on melt top. it. Yeah. Fantastic. The heat will take on the flavour. Can so I yeah. put some salt on the foil? Of course there we you go. can. That makes me happy. You had salt. I like working with Adam, because you love, <laughs> love working with salt. And olive oil. And a little bit more salt. There we go. That'll make it Just a little there bit more. Just a little there we give a little flick. All right. No, just I'll stand right. back, you know. Sure, you right. you, you don't trust me. What's wrong with you? You're all right. That looks great. You can smell the tomatoes through that, which is... That's the hero, isn't it? This it is, definitely. And look at that. See, the basil stays nice and green and vibrant. My nonna will be looking down at us now saying, ah, bravo, bravo. She taught you one thing properly <laughs> to make this pasta <laughs> dish. Here we go. Uh, but ricotta as well. This was my favourite. Obviously, my family used to make cheese, so we always have fresh ricotta in the fridge or down yeah. at the factory, you know, <laughs> yell out to our nonna, bring some up. <laughs> And away you go. So it's straight Is that open the... the back door and whistle like that? Yeah, it's pretty much. The okay. You just fold that through, Adrian. Just look. Just... Ah, so you don't want to melt it through there. No, no, you no. You want to no. have chunks of cheese in there. Beautiful. And if you want, you could add more salt. Here yeah. we go. I'll give you... Uh, I'll have the big bowl and you can have the small one. What now, do you mean? Adam, I'm just going to get straight into this and have a taste really? of it. Really? You're going straight... You can't wait. Such a simple dish, but using really good ingredients. That's exactly the key, right. isn't it? It is very much so. Hold yeah. on. What about a little bit of garlic for you? I'll just oh, slide them on top okay. just in case. Okay. I'll have a bit of the garlic. Mm, lovely roasted garlic, delicious. So even these bowls are like, you know, something my nonna would serve up in, you know, the red rim, the blue rim. The only difference here is that you've got the larger bowl and I've got the small one. I don't know what's going on here. Normally I get the big bowl. Adam, your nana taught you really well. This is amazing. It's delicious. It's such a simple dish and I'm glad we've got some more in that pan there. Thanks.